Okay, um, and, okay, you said Miles is out parking the car, right? Yeah, he is. <clears throat> yeah, he's, uh, looking for a parking spot. Okay. okay. But, uh, anyway, um, I took you to the hospital, so I'm gonna go uh, find uh, 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 No, you're not. No, you're not. She is your mother. We are gonna go. And <clears throat> how about no? Riley, I know what goes on with you guys, but she's your mom. So... Come on. You know what happened back at the back at the dupe. Oh, I know. I was there. I know. Yeah, and you kicked her out because she kept calling me names like I said she would. But she could have died today on Christmas. So good riddance. Riley (laughs) Megan. What? Let's go. No. Don't make me raise my voice at you. Okay, I dare you. I'm gonna spill this coffee all on you. <laughs> Can't make. <sighs> Why do I even bother with you some days? Okay. I think it's down here. So. I'm not going. You're going. If you don't go, then I'm gonna go tell mom that a certain someone proposed to you. No, 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 because you want to know what's going to happen if you tell her? If, you, if, you, if she oh, finds out, if, we, if she finds out me and Miles are engaged, she's going to go on this tangent like, Riley, you, like, you, you, you're too young to be going off and getting married. You ain't going to go to college yet. Exactly. Your child. So let's go. <laughs> I'll go noodle. I'll do the, I'll do the noodle. You know? Oh, it happens when I go, right? You go dead weight. I know that. Exactly. I'll do it right now. Okay, I'll go tell mom that you have a ring. <laughs> Fine. Let's go. This this hallway looks... Is this the one that you were in? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I, think she's in the, I think she's in the same room you were... <laughs> I really think I'm in the mood to joke around right now. Girl, you were just a minute ago. Just in case. Just just in case. <laughs> okay. okay. Don't ask how I got my basket. <laughs> What'd you just say? But no, seriously, how long are you going to keep this a secret from mom? Because she deserves to know. Oh, you know. Oh, oh. Tell her at, like, I'll tell her eventually, you know, maybe at my baby shower or on our 20th anniversary. You know, when a reasonable amount of time has passed. Okay. Uh, I think we just... Knock, knock. I'm coming in. Uh, Mom? Oh. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? Hi. Oh, hi, you know, sore. Riley, come on. (laughs) Is there someone else with you? Uh, No. That that just answered my question. I didn't expect her to come. Well, I kind of had to drag her out of the house, but you know, you're you're a mom, so um. I'm yeah. only here because this rainbow bragged my butt here. Yeah, yeah, because you don't care about your mom. Yeah, I get it. Oh, you don't. Know, it's just a mutual feeling I think we have for each other. So nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, make it quick. I'm only staying in here because. You're making, because you're making me. Yeah, because so, I, cause I have stuff against you, but we're not going to go into that. Um. <laughs> but a- anyway, uh, what kind of what kind of stuff did they got you on, and what exactly you know what's broken, what's not broken, what's yeah. Uh, well, they said I have a few, few you know, a few fractured ribs, and uh, other than that, I mean, it's just all banged up, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah, Ugh, I mean, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Uh, Riley, just... what are you doing, Riley? I'm so tired. Hmm? What are you doing? Why are you on your phone? Come Dexter over here. Miles. Tell him to get over here. Quickly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's so... just, he's just out parking the car. Yeah. He'll be here soon. Look, the fact that I'm in the room should be enough for you. I'm not going over there. Okay. Throwing this coffee at you. Throwed. 
Um, but anyway. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you knew, but R Riley's, um, her boyfriend, <laughs> boyfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend is with. Oh, is isn't she dating that guy that bullied you and make you cry? Uh, yeah, that's in the past, Mom. It's, it's all fine. <laughs> I, I actually don't- I actually tolerate the guy now. Tolerate. Well, mm. you know, at yeah. least you two of your differences settled. I mean... That's good. Yeah. Um... Did he say when he's gonna be up here? He's... So he's on his way up now. Alright. <laughs> On the other uh, side of the hospital. Oh, you've got that that judge show on right now. I think Judge yeah. Judge Trudy yeah. or whatever that is. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of good thi uh, good things on television in the hospital, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um. That's well, about all I got. Well, I'm just gonna sit here and you know just chat with you for a little bit before visiting hours are over and yeah, wait for him to come up here. <laughs> One sec. Hey, Allison. Anything I new just... that happened? Riley, you know I just saw that. What? Hey, let her go. It's my headache reliever. But, Anything uh... new? No, no, not really. No, 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 not really. It's just been kind of uneventful. <laughs> yes. Same uh... here, except for, except for the whole egg so, accident thing. What? What? What exactly happened? Like, how did the accident happen? Dad didn't really say anything on the phone. Oh, well, you know, some guy was on, on book face and rear-ended me while I was stopped at a red oh. light. And next thing I know, I'm here. I think it's called Facebook, Mom. Whatever. Mm. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit and yeah, just... At Talk. least my insurance will cover it. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> hey, sorry it took me a while to park my car. How are you doing, Mrs. Brooks? I've been better. I'm very sorry to hear what happened. I hope you recover soon. Great! Now that you're here, and you said you're get wells, we can go home. Not yet. I want to talk to your mom about something I want to know. What are you talking about? Why are you so hard on Riley? What are you going on about? According to Riley and Rainbow, you've treated her differently than Rainbow her entire life. I want to know why. I don't know what you're talking about. I love both of my children equally. I'm not saying you love Rainbow more or saying you love Riley less. I'm here to talk about how hard you've been on her more than anyone else. To her, it seems like you don't even think anything is good enough. To her, it seems like you hate her and want to control her life. I want to know why you make her feel that way. Please stop. We don't have to do this. We could just go. Fine. You want to know why I'm harder on Riley than Rainbow? Why I hold her up to such high expectations and try my best to push her there? It's because she's a lot like me. So you think that because I'm like you, that I should be expected to do as well as you did? No, it's the exact opposite. I've been pushing you your whole life because I don't want you to end up like me. What? When I was your age, I had a dream. I wanted to play professional basketball. 
Now, I know it wasn't the girliest dream or the most realistic, but it was mine. After graduating, I went to a college where my only goal was to play well enough to get scouted. My grades were mediocre, and all I ever did was just try to play basketball. Then one day, I got into a car accident and broke my hip. And after some surgery, I wasn't able to play anymore. When that happened, my life began to fall apart. Without my scholarship, I ended up being kicked out of school and had to work at some minimum wage job 24-7. Just so I could make barely enough to survive. The only thing that saved me was when I met your father. He helped me out by giving me some money to help support me. And when I couldn't pay my rent, he let me move in with him. We fell in love and got married and I've had to rely on him ever since then. When you were born, you acted just like how my mom described me. I was worried that you were going to be like me and either put yourself too much into something going nowhere or you would just not care about your future and end up having to rely on someone else so i pushed you as hard as i thought you could handle in hopes that you would not have to go through what i went through i wanted to make sure that you could survive on your own Do you really expect an apology to suddenly make the 18 years worth of scars you've caused to go away? Do you really think that after all the names you would call me, and after all the screaming matches we would get into, I would have come crawling back and forgive you? Either you truly don't understand just how damaging you were to me growing up, or you think I'm an idiot. Maybe what you said explains your actions, but it doesn't justify them. Nothing will ever justify what you've done to me. I hope you get better soon, Mom. But as of right now, I don't want us to speak until I'm ready. And I most certainly do not forgive you. I hope you can understand my reasons. I'm gonna go check on her. Okay, um, uh, she, she just needs some, some time, and yeah. I'm, I'm gonna respect whatever choice she makes, uh, I should probably go after her to see what's going on, but, uh, I'll, I'll see you later, okay? I'll stop by sometime this week. Okay. See I how understand. you're doing. Okay. Love you, Mom. I'll be back. Love you, too. Hey, uh, where'd Miles go? <laughs> he wanted to go get the car. It's kind of far from where we're at, so... Oh, um... Okay, uh... Are you okay? Not really. It's good. I let out 18 years worth of frustration in one giant go, and I thought it felt sound... I thought it feel good, but it doesn't. For some Everything reason. is gonna be okay. I swear, it's gonna be okay. Um, that was kind of a lot to take in. I don't uh, know how she was for me growing up. You might have seen it, but... I, you're right, I, I will never understand. I won't. I won't. I, you're right, I won't, but... You know. And the worst part is... The worst part is she's the reason I, I even got sent to Juvie to begin with. You know, I thought her of all people would have my back, but she let me get sent away. But I... Not a second thought. I'm not- I'm not trying to bring up any humor, but what is it about you bringing up Juvie in this hospital? I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Did I really scream about peg legs and Juvie? Man, what if me? <laughs> <laughs> but for real though, it- <sighs> Yeah. I lost three of my life because of that. Because of that. You know that? It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get through it. It's fine. Or, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's fine, but... I think I need, I think I need a mental ward instead of Juvie, though, at that time. 
No. Nothing. I'm talking to myself. Um, should we probably head out, or? I mean, uh, hold on. I just got a message from Miles. Uh, um, he's waiting by the entrance that we came in at, so... Yo, he sprinted to the car, or what? It's up to you. I'm not really gonna rush. Yeah, um, hold on, let me just do something here. Um, um, oh, mom, mom, why aren't you in bed? Hey, uh, you should be in bed. You shouldn't be up and walking. Yeah, I know I should, but I think it's. I just wanted to ask you if, uh, if you were ready to have that overdue talk. Um,. I don't know when or even if I'll ever be ready, but I promise when I am, I'll let you know. Okay. I love you, Riley. Oh. Love you, Rainbow. I'm gonna get back in the bed. It's okay. It's okay, Riley. Uh, yeah, go, Mom. Mom, go lay down. <laughs> um. She's never told me that before. Yeah, um, <clears throat> uh, let, uh, let, let's go get to the car, okay? Maybe Miles will be nice and, oh wait, no, nowhere's open because it's Christmas. Dang it, I was gonna say we could go out to eat or something, but nowhere's open because it's Christmas. <laughs> Can we order a pizza? I'll pay. I don't know if people, I don't know if places are open because it's Christmas. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying anyway. I need, I'll... Well, I want at this point a pizza, a bottle of wine, and just lay in bed and forget about this day. And you can't stop me. I think we have dough at home. You can make a homemade pizza. I might do that. I might steal a bottle of wine from the cupboard, so. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's just, let's go get Miles.